Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I am participating in Noodle November, and this is the second year for Noodle November, and it's giving all kinds of recipes and ways to use all kinds of noodles. Some homemade, some store-bought, just a great variety. And this is put on by Tony at Kettle Kitchen, and there's at least two videos every day for the whole month of November. And then on December 3rd, he's gonna have a giveaway and I'll have all the details down below. He's gonna have some great prizes. So make sure you comment on all the videos and if you're there for their live, you'll have some surprise ones. But most of all, check out the playlist down below and all these channels, you might find a new favorite channel and you're gonna find some great recipes. I'm gonna do a recipe that when I got married the first time back in the 80s, we went to my husband's family in Pennsylvania, Eastern Pennsylvania, and we went to a graduation party. And there was this huge roaster and it had noodles and cabbage and butter and onion. And I could have eaten the whole thing. And I've just never had that combination before here in Michigan. So I asked about it and it's called Halushki. And it's very common there. They have them at street parties and, you know, all different kinds of gatherings. It's a very common dish. And sometimes it's made with homemade noodles and sometimes it's made with store-bought egg noodles. The first step is to cook some noodles. And like I said, if you want to make homemade, you can make spatzel style, you can make rolled out egg noodles, you can make homemade noodles. But I just want it quick tonight for after work. It's kind of late. It's been deer hunting, my husband's out. So I want something quick. And so I'm just gonna use egg noodles. It's fine. So I have a pot of water on and I'm gonna put some salt in it and let it come to a boil and just cook the noodles. You don't want them overcooked. You know, you want to have a little bit of bite to them and then I'm going to drain them and rinse them and cool them off because I don't want them to keep cooking until I put them in with everything else. That's so yummy. I'm gonna put some butter in to melt in a pan. This is almost a full stick, not quite. So I might need to add more, but I'm going to start with this. I like it buttery. If you wanted to cut back on the butter, you could add some chicken broth at the end, but we'll see how it works out. I'm gonna chop up a couple of onions. You know, I think I'm gonna get my chopper out to make this even faster. I'm gonna take the onion and slice it into thick slices and put this through the chopper. See, I'm gonna do the second one. So this is done. Just waiting for the butter to melt. And I'm gonna clean up my mess here. Now I got the cabbage out. I'm not gonna use all this cabbage. I'm gonna use about okay, we're gonna add the onion into the melted butter. probably have more than I need. So I'm going to start with that. So that would be about one and a half. If you like lots of onion, do more. I'm doing about a half a bag of noodles. And I chopped the cabbage out like that so I'm gonna break it up in here too start with this I'm gonna break up any pieces that are sticking together you know if this was a real nice tight cabbage now I'm going to add pepper. You could do white pepper too. I'm 
going to generously salt it. You don't want it, you know, salty, but you do want it to have salt. And then garlic powder. And I'm going to let this cook down and get soft. And wilt down. And then I will add some more butter, or you could add chicken stock. See how it's getting slightly brown? That's kind of how I like it. There's a few pieces in here that I should have maybe cut up smaller just to get it, because I want it all to be nice and tender. has cooked down a lot and it will cook down more with the noodles. I am going to add two and a half tablespoons more of butter. Yes, there was a lot of butter. I didn't say it was a low-fat meal, but you could add chicken broth if you wanted, or side dish. I could just eat it as a meal. But blend everything together. I'm going to add some more pepper because of the noodles. salt and garlic and I was never given measurements I was just told to do it to how you liked it I'm going to turn the heat down a little I had it on medium and get everything mixed together And if the noodles seem dry, add some more butter. Or chicken broth. And corky added butter. As you can see, as I'm mixing it up and that other butter melted, Everything's getting kind of shiny, sticking together. So let's put some in a bowl. I'm gonna move this off the burner and put a lid on it. And we will do a taste test. Here it is. There's cabbage and onion, noodles in this. It's not a colorful dish, you know, but let me do a taste test. Mm. The onions and the cabbage have like a sweetness to them with the noodles and the butter and the saltiness and the, I don't know why. It is such a simple meal that, or side dish, noodle dish that I don't know why, but it is so good. Halushki. And make sure you watch all the videos. I'll have the playlist down below. Thank you, Tony, for inviting me to Noodle November. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you watching this video. Something simple, but so tasty. And, you know, I never had heard of it until I was in my 20s and went to Pennsylvania. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you push the like button, it really helps. And if you want to see more videos on vintage recipes and canning, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.